In this feature, I'll be showing you four triangular surface features I've discovered on Mars so far. The new photograph that I'll be showing you first was taken in August of 2024. I'll show you the other three, the reference material as well as the anomaly. So let's have a look at the first one. This photograph is called Possible Ice Exposing Scrap. Acquired on the 22nd of August 2024 at a resolution of 25 centimeters per pixel. I'll be showing you an image I cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. And there's the triangular surface feature folks. It is so huge it shows up in the low res black and white photograph. It's located in Argaia Planitia at roughly 56 degrees, 8 minutes south, 58 degrees, 15 minutes west. He has a zoomed out view of the high definition JP2 photograph and there is nothing else like this feature anywhere in this photograph. So this thing is totally, totally out of place. Like all the features I'll be showing you, here it is folks, at one to one scale. So it's approximately 175 meters long and the height is approximately 170 meters. So we're looking at some symmetry and geometry here folks. What could have caused this? Let's have a look at the others. This photograph, Crater Rim North of Tempe Terra, acquired on the 24th of November 2010 at 62 centimeters per pixel resolution. And I'll be showing an image cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. And there's the triangular feature, folks. It's also huge, shows up in the low res black and white photograph as well so it's located in Tempe Terra at roughly 54 degrees 29 minutes north 84 degrees 32 minutes west and yes the IRS JP2 I've zoomed out here folks also there's nothing else like this in this photograph so it's also totally out of place here it is at actual size this measures approximately 264 meters across by about 300 meters in height what could have caused these triangular surface features folks side has also slightly eroded or caved in up next colorful outcrops in Schiaparelli acquired on the 4th of January 2008 at a resolution of 27 centimeters per pixel I'll be showing an image I cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file and the anomaly we'll be looking at is located over there folks this is the low res black and white photograph so the site is roughly located at 1 degree 4 minutes south 14 degrees 18 minutes east and there's the anomaly folks this is zoomed out also the triangular shape is totally out of place, nothing else like it in this entire photograph. So it measures approximately 65 meters in length. Here's an ultra close up for you guys, check out the symmetry and geometry to this shape as well. And it's got some depth to it. It's a very very strange item, I don't know 
what causes this type of anomaly in nature some weird dune who knows then we're looking at Kanowski Crater Central Peak acquired on the 18th of January 2010 at a resolution of 34.8 centimeters per pixel and I'll be showing you a crop from the JP2 black and white map projected file so he has a low res black and white and the anomaly is located roughly here folks so the site's at 56 degrees 42 minutes north 9 degrees 35 minutes west and it's on top of what looks like a very old eroded pyramid if you've checked my video about this that I released a while ago you'll see this one side is covered in rows and rows of similar sized and shaped blocks or slabs measuring about five meters in length but let's have a look at that triangular anomaly folks so here it is at actual scale one to one and it measures approximately 16 meters long and now we're looking at an ultra zoomed in view it looks as if this part of here to the right might have broken off this larger piece it's difficult to tell but yeah check out the triangular shape it looks highly sculpted and even machined let's have a chat in the comments I'd love to hear what you think of these anomalies what process in nature produced these shapes especially the last one it's very very weird anyway take care everybody I'll see you in the next one soon bye bye for now